Today, we are starting my favorite project. This empty space is going to transform into our kitchen. This transformation is going to change so much about living here. When we moved to the cabin, the kitchen area had nothing to it. It was dark, dungy, and was in need of lots of love. We even used it as a workbench. Living in a tiny cabin, we have thought of every inch of this space, and I've been waiting for this day since we moved here. Let's begin. These aren't covered up in a bedroom hiding from just you. We've actually been hiding them from ourselves. We didn't want to look at it until it was install day. So we are so excited to be uncovering these beautiful cabinets that are gonna make up our kitchen. And there's a little story behind it. From begging our favorite woodworker, Andy, who vowed that he would never build a kitchen again until we explained our dream for this kitchen because it is very unique and like no other kitchen. We cannot wait to show you all. Before we go any further, we need to move our water lines. We have probably changed our mind where we want our sink about a bajillion times, and the sink is no longer going at the window. The stove is. Okay, so I would wrote these on the 90 behind the wall, and then you just hang out over here. Okay, you wanna drink from the water fountain? <laughs> You're funny. Now time to get it square. That's a you job. Want all of the front of the faces lined up perfectly. I think start on that side. We just need to learn a couple things about a kicker. Crystal. Yeah. What are these called? Kicker. <laughs> <laughs> Months of designing and planning and Pinteresting. And here we go. Before we install the cabinets, we need to make sense of how the pieces fit together. After a quick call with Andy for instructions, we place the kicker, spacers, and side pieces. Now for the fun part, leveling the cabinetry. Only you would say that. They, they look like they're almost seamless. Blue arrow, that means at the top. Oh, it's like when this is, the, this is long, as long as the kicker. I get it. Wow, eh? Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm hungry. This kitchen build making me hungry. With rumbling bellies and a hangry jasmine. And just before we install the stove, we whip up a savory lunch and we prepare ourselves for the next step. I just keep standing here and admiring the single cabinet we have in place. And I could just pee my pants. It looks so good. I'm so excited. <laughs> I think we're speechless in this video. I'm like actually giddy. It's amazing. I'm like, this is gonna be a place to hang, to host, to cook, to work in. It's gonna be so beautiful. I'm so excited. I'm, just place I'm, to sit and eat, right? That's not just outside. Drew, we got an indoor <laughs> living space now. Yeah, like we've been kind of, well, I actually take to the floor when I'm eating my meal, but not no more. <laughs> well, soon it won't be no more. And we are soon going to have a place to do dishes. We're no longer going to be having to carry the dish bucket out to the van, do the dishes in our shower, or just not do the dishes. <laughs> I'm ready for that. I am so ready. Cinderella was ready. intermission from the kitchen build. We have an important message as we are starting a podcast called The Pack Chat Podcast. <laughs> and it will be going live every Wednesday at 9.30 EST. On YouTube, you can watch it as well as all of your streaming platforms such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts, etc. We're really opening up and it's so exciting. We can't wait for you to listen. We're going to link the podcast channel in the description and the pinned comment of this video. As well as right here or here. I don't know how the screen works, but subscribe to that channel. Turn on your notifications. Share it with your friends. So you don't miss an episode. And let us know in the comments of this video what you want us to talk about, who 
you want to be on the podcast. We have some very exciting guests coming up and some spicy topics. Wow, it's so pretty. The vision is coming to life. Okay, well, I need help. My wrist, I have, I'm the one with my back. <laughs> with Crystal's back's thrown in, my wrist is hard. You know what's gonna be so funny? Is that if we continue doing this, you're gonna watch us Deteriorate. Get old and, and hurt. And Real quick. If we continue. I mean, like, if we get old, like. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's just funny. Like, you're half broken today, I'm half broken. <laughs> it's actually wild. Like, don't take any body part for granted. Wow, this is so nice. It's so pretty. We're almost at one of the most exciting parts of the kitchen build, and I cannot wait to show you all. Well, Bella and Izzy can't wait to show you all. It's gonna blow your mind. Perfect. Yay! 10 years later. Yeah, that's a thing around here. I'm grateful for you though. <laughs> My kitchen will be on an angle. <laughs> what do you think? Does it look good? Does it look good? It it, it's strange. the nicest kitchen I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so these cabinets have a side panel. Are you holding the camera sideways? No. <laughs> For a side panel? Yeah. You get it? I get it. Okay. What are we doing? All right, everyone. Turn the camera on. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Sorry if that made you dizzy. <sighs> These are side panels that we are going to be putting on either side of this full three cabinet piece and then on this one it just really pulls it together and from the front makes it look like these cabinets are existing within this border and so what we're trying to do is make sure that these the fronts of them are flush with the fronts of the cabinet Inch and a quarter. We are putting it on the wall, but we are going to shim it because there is a little bit of an uneven space behind it. You want to be able to lean on the counter and it not move. So that's what we're that's where we're at right now. Level. Oh my god. <laughs> Look what she's making us do right now. <laughs> Put that on there right now and show them all what we've been trying to do. Just do it. She's I can't do it she's, anymore. She's embarrassed now. She's trying to get this more level. How do you get that more level? Talk to Stanley himself, let's find out. <laughs> as we install these cabinets, the excitement builds as our kitchen is finally coming together. We are not only thrilled with the aesthetic, but the quality of the craftsmanship. These cabinets were custom made from Andrew using Baltic birch, one of the strongest plywoods, and was meticulously cut on a CNC machine. It is looking phenomenal. Do you know what time it is? Look what I found in here. Pour me up one. First AG1 in our new kitchen. Thank you to AG1 for sponsoring us for the last three years. And thank you to all of you for supporting our sponsor and supporting us. In this bottle, there are 75 vitamins, nutrients, and whole food sourced ingredients that your body needs and loves on a daily basis. Let's just get into the good part. AG1 will be giving you five free travel packs and a year's worth of a vitamin D dropper with your first purchase. All you have to do is click the link in the description below. Everyone always asks, what does it taste like? Well, it's delicious, subtly sweet, and it's really quite light. I've always tried to figure out how to describe it, and Crystal just nailed it. Today, like most days, it's a busy one, and drinking our AG1 only takes a few minutes and we feel so good about it. We truly love and stand behind AG1. Drink AG1, cheers with us, pack. Click the link in the description, you won't regret it. Before we go any further, I have to do this. I need to see what it looks like. Everything's gonna have a home because everything's gonna have a shelf, a cupboard, a drawer, a surface to sit on and live on. A makeshift counter for the time being. And in. there will be no tools in this area anymore. This is a big step. The clutter will no longer be cluttery and everything will, it's just gonna be, wow. It's gonna feel like a house, like a home. And it just uh, that to me is. <laughs> what we've been working towards, Boogie. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm just like having a moment too when you think back to our bathroom originally it was just a closet and a storage area for our tools. The spare bedroom is currently that, but we get closer and closer and closer to Every day. regaining this space and making it a home. For me, a kitchen just makes a home. Like it's absolutely my favorite spot and seeing this look so real is wild. It is so wild. It's gonna be so nice. Boogie. I'm not crying, Yeah, girl. you are. You're so happy. Happy. 
Next up, we're going to the Caribbean. We're gonna go to an island. That was a bad joke. But <laughs> this island is like no other island. You ready to bring it to life, girl? Super Saiyan, baby, like my name was Goku. Feeling too good, real good. Yeah, I'm so true. Have to remember this moment. First coffee and a sausage coming right up. <laughs> Where's the coffee? Love it! Holy pork pork pork! This is wild. Absolutely wild. There's so much space. So much space. What are we gonna do? Okay, we have something really special to show you all. You're but, gonna love it. But there's a kicker. You have to guess first what you think it's going to be. Okay? Come down. What? is this. It's also on the other side for a hint. Pause the video and write in the comments what you think this is. You need to relax. I'm thinking the facts. I'm getting the checks and I can text. Three and a half. So this is yeah. I love when two people can go through your kitchen. So perfect. Yeah. This is quite spacious. This is quite spacious. It's perfect. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Leave it. It's just a little treat, okay? Kiss. Good girl. Come on, Izzy, over here. Turn. Kiss. Good girl. Cool. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Gee, thanks for thinking of me in the build, Ma. Always thinking of them. We made sure that the bowls were on opposite ends of the island because we all know Big Bella would eat Izzy's dinner. <laughs> They're perfect. They're literally perfect. I can't believe it. They have a, a spot. And we're gonna put some dog food right here. Or maybe it's gonna go right here because guess what, everyone? This island has so much storage. You need a passport to live here. Still measuring, still leveling. How many times are you gonna do this? I need to make sure it's perfect. I can't even. Oh my gosh, <laughs> phenomenal. We did it! All the boxes are proudly in place. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy with our choice in everything here. Like it is a very small one room open concept cabin and having an island, like I'm picturing the countertop that we're gonna have on here, it's going to be it's going like, to it overhang. Was just the best decision for this space. Yeah, well this an island of this size. Like the storage, the counter space, having the sink here, everyone, like and the color, like it's just bouncing off the walls. It's just the best. We made some good decisions here. I'm proud. Also, this is like our dining room table. Yeah, and right? what's gonna be cool is that like I hope anyway that like people can gather all around. They are. Like, We're doing stuff. Too? You think yeah. you can pull some chairs from there? You can do whatever you want in life, remember? Right. Yeah, Rainy, do whatever you want in life. Quotes by Jazz. <laughs> do whatever you want in life, man. Lost looking in your eyes. A little shook up at the side of you. It gets me every time. Sexy show. <laughs> Damn. Gorgeous. Wow. This <laughs> <laughs> dinner in the island. Give me a big kiss. Like, I mean, they're not in town, and then all of a sudden a drawer opens and there's foods inside. Like, that's big, that's big, man. Yes, big, man. I think it's the coolest thing ever. My favorite feature for sure. How about all of you? We're on the rest of all our day. Cause the house is just a place. It's forever with you. Moment of truth. <laughs> Can we measure correctly? <laughs> We got our 
shelves on. Welcome to the kitchen. There is so much more to do. Like decorating? Plumbing. <laughs> and you better believe I'd be plumbing if I could, but I have to go outside for that. Hey everyone, hope you like it. This is our very first morning waking up to the bright and beautiful kitchen. It's a very, very nice feeling to be walking into this space this morning. Oh, it is just a lovely morning overall because the sun is shining. We've got some nice spring breeze coming through. The girls have been outside all morning and... Getting the squirrels! Yeah, the squirrels are squirrels back. Squirrels are back. OJ and coffee. I'd be lying if I didn't say I was up until the wee hours. <laughs> I couldn't sleep last night. I was so excited to have this space and everything just looks so organized and beautiful already. And I'm not done, but I'll give you a little sneak peek at what I've done. This adorable milk jug Jasmine got from her granny. How cute. And we brought it when we first moved to the cabin. Yeah. Grandma Joy, if you see this, thank you. The pantry. A few appliances, plates. A little bit of everything. Snacks. Clearly, look at these noses. Cutlery. Working on that drawer still. We do utensils. How amazing is that? Pots and pans. Dog food and a lot more room. More food storage. This whole island is 360 storage. Love it. All right, and we still have lots of space to fill. I'd like to get all our spices organized. I mean, like this drawer is half empty too. So it's coming together. Wonderful. Yeah, it is. My time now? Your time to shine. <laughs> we are putting a sink in this island today, everyone. We have a joist here, and we are gonna mark avoid. it and avoid it. <laughs> Good plan? Good plan. <laughs> the sink has been sitting in this garage for six months. Maybe even longer. <laughs> been waiting for the day to take this off the shelf. Quite a bit larger than I remember, and I'm very happy about that. Welcome home! Knock, knock! Yo, it's big. Thank you. Does it fit? I don't know. It looks way too big. But we can cut down the strips a bit. Definitely more complex than I thought when I woke up this morning. Mm -hmm. I think I was more scared to cut that than I was scared to cut a billion holes in our van. It's just a masterpiece that I'm like, it's not my masterpiece. <gasps> Shit. Oh, my back thing. is too broken for this, can you do it? Yeah. My wrist is too broken for this. <laughs> can you all do it? <laughs> We're good, we should do it together. Like glove. Like a peel goes around a banana. I cut two more strips. That way they can go on the side and support this as well. So it's not just the front and back and that way the sink's weight is evenly distributed because it's not light. That's what I'm talking about. Faucet or drain? With the sink snug in place, it's time to move on to the faucet. A quick drilling with the hole saw, we mount and secure the hardware and we're one step closer to our first kitchen sink. Okay, I know we're just installing it and it's merely just sitting on a piece of plywood, but that is a damn good looking faucet. I'm so happy about this. Now for the best time. Water off. Off. Empty. Joyce is here. We think. And drain. Water intake. I got a hole in me kitchen. <laughs> camera just came on my face and it scared me. <laughs> I probably looked so scared. I'd love to see that. You really should go into the island. You're holding your level. <laughs> oh, Hi everyone. Under the cabin. Put the driver down. Keep going. I found you. Yeah, girl. So we actually have to go to the right. We're almost by a joist. Crystal's working on bringing us a four inch hole all the way to the outside of the cabin. That way we can fit our drain. She got it! The reason why that's so tough is not only all the layers of the cabin, 
but we sprayed six inches of insulation underneath our cabin. Our cabin could literally float in the ocean, the insulator said. We need to reroute the water lines from inside to under the cabin. So we cut and drain the lines and extend the pecs with couplings to run the water lines directly into the island. And because the lines are outside and we live in Canada, we wrap the lines with heat trace and insulation and heat trace. This is what we have on all of our water lines. This is a 30 foot heat trace. This is the sensor actually. So this needs to go onto the pipe and then you coil this all the way around and then you put insulation on it. So essentially with this plugged into the wall, the wire will heat up and then keep everything super warm. Putting the sink into the island was obviously a no-brainer for the space, but obviously it's a little bit more work, but we actually were like, seems like a fun challenge. So here we are. Well, we're taking the skills we learned in the summer and applying them now, which is pretty cool. That's true. Right? So it's like we got taught something and now we can do it ourselves. Just the two of us. We've successfully put elbows on the pecs that we got through the cabin floor. Now we are running pecs away from those elbows towards the kitchen sink. And Jasmine is heat tracing the lines, insulating the lines, and having a great time. It is an absolutely stunning day to be working outside. It's warming up, blue skies, and we don't have any black flies yet. That is a win. Two seconds later. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen a black fly in forever. Just gotta say, Jasmine is an absolute trooper. <laughs> I pack double layer of insulation, heat, trace, and now I need Homer strapping, decking screws, and a driver with a Phillips, please. Good job, Boog. I had a lot of sitting there and reflecting as I was just doing the same task over and over again. And I was thinking about the first time that we were plumbing our van and we made 11 trips to Lowe's in one day. And I just couldn't help but think about how far we've come, eh? That was a seamless plumbing job, but doesn't always happen. I can't even get over that. One of my proudest plumbing moments, I have to say, just happened. And I guess what I'm trying to say is if, if you've done a project and you're not that good at it, right away, keep going. You'll get pretty good. I'm running, running through a dream. Hang on to the moment, it's turning to memory. Everyone is so excited, it's going to be water time. We have five more pieces to glue and then connect the hot and the cold. And then we can finally turn the water on and then have a sink with running water in our cabin for the first time ever. This is going to be so exciting. You are where I circle moment we haven't had running water to do dishes or just to drink from in so long having clean waters from our filters that happened really recently a hot water tank also the biggest thing setting up our entire electrical system a couple weeks ago it's just a full cir circle moment that all these projects have made this project work you know shelter heat water and electricity we're finally checking all the boxes yeah that feels amazing i am so happy this is the best day ever look at them in the sink <laughs> i love it i'm gonna 
don't have a top. I just eat dishes in the sink. <gasps> I'm so happy. They don't have to live in the bucket on the floor anymore. And in fact, they will never live in here because you'll be seeing me doing the dishes all the time. Can't wait. Yeah. Can't wait. Can't wait. I'm so happy. <sighs> See you all next Sunday! <laughs> <laughs> that was probably so bad. So bad. <laughs>